my favorite new thing. So, can I have it back? <gasps> Nia's always trying new sounds. Wait till she hears this. Wait, give me my bell back. You Percy promised. Percy, wait. <gasps> I should have known better than to give Percy a bell. found. Roaring rails? That totally rocks. If I had a bell like that, I'd make up a country cowbell song. Can I try it for a teensy second? I, I guess you can borrow it. But you gotta give it back right away, because I Percy promised to give it right back. Toot toot, tooty toot toot, toot toot, tooty toot toot. Ooh, I gotta try it in the tunnel. <gasps> The echo will be out of this world. But... <sighs> I need my bell. <sighs> you said you'd give it right back. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry, but I kind of lent it to Nia. What? Well, then we got to go get it back from her. What's the rush? I want that bell back. Me too. I didn't get to finish my turn playing with it. What? It's not my fault you gave part of your turn to Nia. It's my cowbell. Can I have it back now, please? Absolutely. Let me just pop it, engine style. <laughs> the bell! Oh! Oops, sorry. Follow that seagull! Look at this cowbell I found! More like it found me! Ha! I'm the one who found the cowbell, and how much have I gotten to play with it? Not at all? Exactly! And I can't chase Diesel. He's going the opposite direction. I have to deliver this milk to Vickerstown. <sighs> Terrific. I'm sorry, Thomas! Let's take a shortcut through the dark woods. But the dark woods are so dark. That's okay. Your ghost scaring machine has all kinds of lights on it. Yeah. I guess it's one last adventure for the ghost scaring machine. And this could be the biggest adventure of all. This fog is pretty spooky. I'm not scared. <laughs> Me neither, but I do like to see where I'm going. Percy, would your radar dish help? <gasps> Absolutely. Activating. Yeah, there's something big ahead. Like how big? Like ghost big? Pretty sure that's not a ghost. <gasps> Nia? Hey, Nia. Hi, guys. What are you doing? I got turned around in the fog, and I can't see past my bumper. And it seems like it's getting worse. We've got to find our way out of the dark woods. I don't want to miss what they found up on Lookout Mountain. Oh, I just wish we could see through the fog. Wait, my night vision goggles can see through darkness and fog. I'll lead the way. What do you see, Percy? Huh? Stop! Phew. I'm glad we didn't run full steam into that. But we need to move it somehow. Yeah. Does your machine have a Carly in it? No, but it does have a grappling hook. Yes, it does. Now, if everyone can hook together and help me pull, 
I think we can move this. You heard him. Now, pull! Wow. I mean, not bad. Yeah, the ghost hearing machine is full of surprises. Come on, guys, let's get moving. Bears want to look out mountain winds. We're all engines go! Guys, wait! The track up there is really oh, no. oh, no. <sighs> muddy. I, I can't see anything. He must be too far out. Cranky, can you see him? Looking and looking and nope. Nothing. What are we gonna do? <gasps> Harold! Can you help us? He's not hearing us. Cranky, can you lift me up so he can hear? Whoa, oh, so high. Harold! Harold! Daisy and I were playing hide and surprise. And you think he might be stuck on a barge out at sea? Can you help us find him? 10 4. That's a uh, pilot speak for OK. <laughs> Operation Find Your Friend Diesel is a go. Do you think you could let me down now? No, 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 not again. I need to get off this. Whoa! If I wasn't so worried about winning the game, I wouldn't be stuck on this silly barge. Now, I'll probably never get a chance to beat anyone at anything ever again. Hey, you squawked for your friends. That might work. I can... for mine. Okay, they'll hear me. Any minute now. Any minute. Maybe I'm too far away for them to hear me? I've got to get them to see me somehow. Hey, was it something I tooted? <gasps> Look, those seagulls! There's the barge! That must be where Diesel is. It's Harold. Harold! I'm over here! Ahoy, Diesel. I heard you could use some help. Bingo. Now for step two. You can start pulling any time, Harold. <sighs> I was, but this barge is really heavy. <sighs> ah, broken blades. We're gonna need a new approach for Operation Rescue Diesel. But you can do something, right? I don't want to be stuck on this barge forever. Not to worry, friend. Help is on the way. Boss Road! I got it from here, Harold. <laughs> have a little time, right, Bullstrode? They know you gotta leave at sunset. <sighs> Where are they? Thomas promised he'd be here. He'd never break a promise. I wonder what happened. Get back here! Why are you listening? Person was me. 
special for him. When I first came here, I worried about forgetting my other home in Kenya. But lots of things make me think of it. Like the pattern on my sides, Normby Beach, even hearing a familiar tune. <laughs> <laughs> but those are just little things. Yes, but I couldn't forget Kenya when so many little things made me think of it. So maybe it doesn't need to be a big thing. It could be little memories. <gasps> I've got it! To the docks, everyone! We can make up a song on the way! <clears throat> Sorry, Young Bao. It's uh, time to go. I understand. Go ahead, Cranky. <sighs> they didn't come. <gasps> That's Thomas! I knew you wouldn't let me leave without saying... Sandy, can you help me with my... <sighs> whistle? Whoa, I've never heard a whistle make that sound before. I, that is... Wow. <laughs> Massive. But I'm on it. <laughs> Try now. Great. I'm ready to hear my old... Wow. This really is a more massive deal than we thought. For a job this big, I'm going to need my extra special tools. Meet me at the sheds later? <sighs> okay. See you then. Uh, go easy on that totally, completely broken whistle. <sighs> I know you want it to be fixed, but it's just a little longer, and then you can get your peep back. Come on, let's finish our mail route. I think you should finish this delivery on your own. But what about Percy, miss? You feel like yourself again, and that's great. But I won't until this is fixed. <sighs> Just go on without me. Well, if that's what you want, I'll meet you back at the sheds. By that time, I'm sure Sandy will have fixed her whistle. If she can even fix me. Otherwise, I'll never peep again. Percy doesn't need me. He can toot and carry the mail by himself. <laughs> Troublesome trucks. Should be trouble making trucks. <gasps> Uh-oh. One of the troublesome trucks is headed right for Percy. I have to warn him. He can't hear me. But with your help, maybe he will. Okay, just follow the number one bird. as I can. Sorry, I'm just so excited. Can I help you get done sooner? Really? That'd be great. Can you take this big bulb over to Vickers Town Lighthouse? No problem. Thanks, Thomas. Switch on one, two, three. Great. I'll 
see you at the docks in a little bit. Right, oh, and don't use the shortcut through Crumble Canyon. It's supposed to be really windy and crumbly today. Crumble Canyon, got it. Hmm. Thanks, Thomas. I thought Percy was delivering this light bulb today. He was. I'm just helping him out so he can meet the rest of us at the docks when the telescope gets here. <gasps> That's Bulstrode! He's got the telescope! You got this, Carly? Yes, I'll get Great! I've got to get to the docks. See ya! Thomas! I can't wait to see that telescope. I know. I'll take a shortcut through Crumble Canyon. <laughs> What did Percy say about Crumble Canyon again? Something about it being windy? Whoa! And crumbly? Ah! Hey guys, is the telescope here yet? Not yet! Bullstrode should be here any... <gasps> Thomas! What happened? What do you mean? Ah! Thomas, I told you not to cut through Crumble Canyon. So that's what you said. I knew it was something like that. You look terrible. Like, really terrible. Huh? Pfft. I just got a little dinged up. No biggie. Thomas, what on earth? You have to get to Tidmouth right now. Right now? But I want to see the new telescope. You no know, buts. You have to get repainted immediately. You don't want to rust, do you? Rust? I'm so glad you came to see me. You've got a bad case of the scrapes. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to miss Cranky unloading the new telescope. Scratches and dings. Do turn to rust if you don't fix them, Thomas. And you don't want rust, Thomas. Rust is the worst. I hear it's super itchy and scratchy and really uncomfortable. Oh, it is. You should be fine, Thomas. See, got you all fixed up with a fresh new coat of paint. Good as new. Great. Thanks, Sandy. It's not treasure. It's a monster. Roar! <laughs> It's got big teeth, but it's not a monster. The paleontologist says it's a dinosaur. What's a palonapotogalist? Palonapotogalist, Diesel. <laughs> a paleontologist is a scientist who learns about dinosaurs by digging up their bones. I love dinosaurs. This is so cool. Oh, yes, and even cooler, uh, they need some engines to deliver the bones to the Vickerstown Museum for the big new dinosaur exhibit. Sounds like a job for... The Biggest Adventure Club! Yeah! Hooray! Guys, guys, we have to go to the mine! Right now! There's bones! Bones? Dinosaur bones! Dinosaur bones? Wahoo! Let's go! Yeah! Well, let's go! Yeah! Wahoo! Yeah! Follow me! Yes. How Wait fun! For me. I love dinosaurs! Me too. I'm Neosaurus. Hear me roar! <laughs> Call me the Perseodactyl. The Conoraptor will show you how it's done. Thomas Rex has got this! Let's go! See? The bones are right. <gasps> oh no! Gordon, the T-Rex is gone? Gone? Someone better tell the paleo lollipopolist. <laughs> the uh, paleontologist dug them up from there and carefully arranged them for you over here. Now, everyone pick a car, but keep them in the order they are now. Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. 
For the T-Rex to be put together properly, the paleontologists put these cars in this exact order. If you get out of order... Got it! Dinosaurs, let's dino-roar! Roar! <laughs> if you kids get out of order, T-Rex won't look right. Uh, Thomas? Thomas! <sighs> Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. Stomp and bite and swipe and roar! Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. My eyes spy. Hair holding! Huh? <laughs> Fine day for flying. Skies are clear. Good visibility. He is so cool. It must be nice to fly all over Sodor. I bet he can see the whole island from way up there. He's so lucky he gets to be a helicopter. Uh-oh. Losing altitude. I think his luck is running out. Harold's in trouble. Mayday, Mayday, this is Harold. I'm losing power to my main rotor. I'm gonna have to put her down. <gasps> it looks like he's gonna crash. We gotta save Harold. Come on, Percy. We've gotta do something. Yeah, let's do a uh, something. Hang on, Harold. We're coming. I can sure use a landing zone right about now. Harold. Oh, hi, Thomas. You can land on my black car. Affirmative, Thomas. Back a little more. Not too much. Forward. That's it. And back up a little. Yeah, right there. Nada, engine. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. You saved my sliders. Anything for the coolest chopper in the sky. Looks like my rear rotor works just fine, but I've somehow lost power in my main rotor. <laughs> oh, boy. Can't fly anywhere like this. Uh, I can take you for repairs. I mean, you're already on my flat car, so... Roger that. Wilco, Thomas and Percy. Wilco? Means I will comply. Comply means you'll do what you're asked to do. Oh, got it. Only place I can get this rotor patched up is in Vigorstown. That's kind of far. I've been there a gajillion times. I can absolutely get you there. I mean, it won't be fast and fun like you're used to. There are switchbacks and signal lights and sometimes mud. Affirmative. I ride the wind, but today this helicopter is going to ride the rails. Roger that, Harold. I'll go and give them a toots up so they'll be ready to fix you as soon as you get there. Thank you, Percy. Let's go. Flying is so cool. You can see everything when you're flying, right? Like, everything? Well, not everything. <gasps> I bet you can see things you've never even thought of. <clears throat> Having trouble, Thomas? Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, I can't get up the steep hill. I think my boiler's low. I'll push you. Hey, it's the Calliope. This would be perfect for my party. Where are you taking it? I'm taking it to the party of the island where it's needed urgently. So, can you give me a push? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Ugh. Hey, this is where we first met, remember? Ugh. All those years ago. Ugh. I helped you up this very hill. Phew, made it. Oh, now this is the perfect place to hold my anniversary party. Party? What party? For my Sodor anniversary. It's perfect, because it's where we met. A party sounds great, but I gotta go. Bye, Thomas. Come back for my party tonight. Okay, next stop, decorations. Oh, come on! Stay down! Stay down! Hi, Percy. Is that airmail? <laughs> airmail, good one, Nia. 
Yeah? Oh, um, hi. I didn't expect to see you, and, um... Why do you have all those purple balloons? Purple's my favorite color. Oh, uh, um, they're not purple. They're dark violet? Dark violet? Isn't that purple? Nope, nuh-uh. No way. They're two completely different colors, for sure. Okay. Are you taking them to a party? Um, sort of. It's a gathering that needs balloons. A balloon gathering. <laughs> oh, Percy, you are funny. Is it okay if I have one? Uh, it would, but uh, they're all tied up. Well, can I take this one then? Oh, um, sure, yes, of course. Thanks, Percy. Now, I'd better see if I can find some decorations. Will you come to my party later? Of course I'll go. Wait, how do you know about that? How do I know about what? My party? Because I'm planning it, silly. <laughs> On Steep Hill. Steep Hill? Oh! <laughs> <sighs> Got to go. Everyone is so busy. I hope they can make it. It's almost like they don't even want to come to my party tonight. Well, this perfect dark violet balloon and I will have fun, no matter You're in my way. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Let's catch this thing. Then I'll deliver Sir Top Mat his new hat. There! Nothing's gonna stop us now. Look out! <laughs> Where'd that bale of hay come from? And more importantly, where'd the hat go? Over here! Let's roll! Hey, I've got an idea. You two pull ahead and steam it this way, and I'll catch it. I guess we could use a plan. Let's do it! <gasps> There's the hat! <gasps> I got it! Did I get it? How did you get here so fast? Even on the slow way, I'm faster than you. Okay, guys, now will you listen to me? I was trying to tell Thomas that. I got mud in my chimney. <gasps> the hat! It's going backwards. Back it up, back it up, back it up. This whole plan is backwards. Now that this track is closed, let's get this line fixed. Great! Try out my new line later. It's faster than that. <laughs> okay, it's not that fast. Hey, this isn't the express route. Sorry, we're trying to catch Sir Topham Hat's hat. He needs it for the ceremony at the Vickerstown Museum. I see it. I see the hat. Ooh, we've got a hope. Come on. Jump in. Whoa! 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 Phew! That could have been bad. All right, team. Put your axles into it. As soon as we fill Pumpkin Station, it'll be time for hay rides. Thomas, Annie and Clarabelle should be loaded with passengers and ready to go. Why don't you go pick them up from Knapford? You got it! You want to come with me? Absolutely! The passengers sound excited for the hayride. They certainly do. They can't wait for the hayride. 
see, it doesn't matter what season it is if people are having fun. Yeah, the passengers are pretty happy. <gasps> Whoa! The pumpkin station is trinktastic! Come on, let's go. This does feel as fun as a day at the beach. Told ya. Pumpkin Station looks gorgeous. Good job, everyone. All that's left to do now are the hay rides. Sparking! I wish I was pulling one of those hay carts, but since you don't need me, I guess we'll be heading back to the sheds. <sighs> if only there was something more for him to do. <gasps> I know! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Fall Festival. Let the hay rides begin. Have fun. Enjoy all the red and gold leaves. Oh, no. My coupler seems to be acting up. I can't tow the hay ride. <gasps> Yay! Yeah! I mean... Oh, no. But Gordon's coupler's fine. Oh, this is terrible. If Gordon can't tow the hayride, what will we do? Oh, those happy passengers will be so disappointed. Never fear. Thomas can do it. I can? He can. Certainly. Would you fill in for me, Thomas? Yeah, Thomas. Hook up. Well, I wouldn't want anyone missing out on a hayride. That's the spirit, number one. <laughs> Have uh, a good well, time! Enjoy yourself. So, are you still missing summer? Nope. You showed me how great fall is. Laying in the leaves, the colors, all the happy people. It's been an unbelievable day. This I... isn't so bad. Four more packages to deliver. We'll be back at Tidna Sheds in no time. Yeah. Uh-huh. No time. Right. Uh, Percy, we're gonna get through this together. And you can't keep an eye out for scary stuff if your eyes are closed. Okay. Okay. Nothing scary on these tracks. Uh, not scary dancing tree. Not scary water tower. You try. Okay. Not scary fence. Not scary moon. Not scary shadow monster. <laughs> shadow monster? Ah! Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not a shadow monster. It's just the shadow from a jack-o'-lantern. You're right. <laughs> Whoa. What was that? Uh, probably nothing, I think. Come on. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's only that squeaky weather vane. Oh. It scares me every time. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Mr. Weatherbane! I wonder what got the cows so spooked. I can't see anything in all this mist. I don't see anything. But come on, two more deliveries to go. Whiffs recycling, then bring them dogs. One more drop to go. Well, ah! it's a monster claw. Wait, actually, I don't know what it is. That's not a monster's claw. It's a bunch of old rails. <laughs> wow. So far, a lot of what we've seen isn't so scary close up. This is fun. I'm glad I didn't hide in my shed. Tonight was way scarier in my head. That's Halloween for you. Pure, get the chill, silly kind of fun. Yeah, like that ghost 
train behind us. It's just a... Wait. Ghost, Ghost train? train? Ah! Ah! Ghost scaring machine? Engage! Kana, your brake line is broken. I'm adding a temporary patch now, which means it'll only last for a little while. And you'll need to go slower to make sure it stays on. No time to slow down. With the storm coming, we have to finish the deliveries. That's most important! Huh, she didn't thank you either. You're welcome! Stopped. Looks like you need a new intake vent, Diesel. This one's Sandy. <laughs> Sandy? Um, you're Sandy. <laughs> I know I'm Sandy, but his intake vent has sand in it. I've cleaned it out, but he'll need... need a new one. Come on back to the sheds, Diesel. No can do. We have to get these deliveries done. Pronto! <laughs> You're welcome. We're getting close, pal. Fight that wind. Whoa. <sighs> oh no, Thomas. It's your wheel. We better call Sandy. Carly, Sandy. Boy, are we happy to see you. My wheel's cracked. Can you help? Sure. Up you go. Now, this is a temporary wheel. It won't last all day, but it should get you through a few deliveries. Great! Think! Here you are. We need a switch repaired by McCall's farm. We can't get to the barn to pick up the milk delivery. <sighs> Come on, Carly. Uh, Sandy? <gasps> oh, no. Well, Sandy, you've been working so hard, you literally blew a gasket. Wait, I'm out of service? I, I can't be out of service. I am the service. 